Ethel's coming to say hello. Do you know how heavy she is, John? About 28 stone. My goodness. Hello. Wave to the camera. Wave to the camera, there's a good wave, girl. Wave to Bailey. Is the sound on? I don't know. Are we on? I think I think the green lines are going up and down, yeah. What happened to that boat that was coming this way? Has it gone? There is a boat. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, we're in Nantwich. It's How very, it's very I went shopping. I've been shopping twice in two days, have you noticed? He's been shopping on his electric shopability bike. Shopability? Oh, I don't know, I just made that up. Now, we're supposed to be meeting some friends of ours from the mm. marina today, but... The lock got a bit... Chumston or Chalmondiston lock. Why do you call it Chalmondiston? Because that's how it's spelt. Is that Chumston? Is broken. And? Deceased is no more. And no, they're in just the marina. It's in your dapple. Yeah, but the Canal and River Trust are involved, so it's not going to happen imminently. So we're going to have a cruise down to Cool Pilot. Allegedly. Um, You've just been talking to a man for, for I ages. Just been to, well, he was... He was lovely, but... Well, he was taking photographs of I the I have boat. things to do. You have to be careful, because he's just said he's going to watch the channel. Hello. No, I did say he was lovely, I just said that... He's just done the Four Counties. Has he? On, with his son oh, on, on this boat. That's nice. So anyway, come with us. Tom's just pushed the front end off and got on at the front and he's trying to undo the scratch cover but he doesn't realise that the door's locked from the inside so he's, he's going to go bananas when he finds out that he can't get any further just, just wait for it oh here we go you've just realised the door's shut oh it's my fault On. Hello. Hello. I was going to say hello Dave, but there will be a Dave, won't there? There's always a Dave. Yeah, boating Dave. Yeah, hello Dave. Always... Dave. Hello. Are you doing... What's that, League of Gentlemen? Yeah. I bet you can... Papa Lazarou. Yeah, but I bet you can... None of League of Gentlemen, I bet you can't show it these days. Hello Dave. You're yeah. my wife now. Yeah. The last series of that was hilarious, but... No, that, actually, that one-off that they did, I uh, thought, oh, leave it alone. So, I'm not waving at you. We've attracted you a load of gnats. How many glasses can you wear? Oh. <laughs> right, right. Is that boat moored under the bridge? Yeah. Anyway, so we promised, right, from now on, we're going to be sensible. We're not going to do anything silly, because apparently we're very silly people. Yeah, this... Well, this can't, man. Th th this is an educational tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the. You knew that was coming. We've just we just left the town of Nantwich. To what town of Nantwich? It's a little footing. Yeah. The footing town. And we're heading towards that secret bunker. Hi. 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 Yeah. Do you know when when you you go in like in, in like towns and places, you do feel a bit like a traffic warden. You're going hello, 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 like this. We've just met a lovely man on the towpath. I didn't get your name, but he said he was right, going to look, look us up. He's from Staffordshire. He's you just were talking four to him while I was talking to a, a, another boxer called Oscar. He's just on the Four Counties ring. Um, and he was taking photographs of now about pottery. He said, do you mind? I said, no. if we, we can't mind. I think we said this before. We've got tinted windows. And we very often sit watching the TV and people have no idea that we're watching them. However, if we have a light on, then they can see him. We've been doing a bit of walking, haven't we, the last couple of days? Right. And every time we go for a walk, I say to him, no, you're not doing too much. Behave, you know, stop being an idiot. Never listen. Well, apparently, if you've got Parkinson's, you're supposed to keep moving and exercising. You've got a bad knee as well, though. But I've got a bad knee as well. 
that the NHS wouldn't replace until I'm 70. Yeah, but they won't do it now, are they? Because they say that you, that but you, they'd you've say got two pre-existing... Your, your Parkinson's trumps your bad knee. So we, we've overdone it a couple of days and my right knee is roughly one and a half times, I would say, the size of my left knee. Yeah, but yesterday I said we'll do a light walk just as far as the eye can see and back. And then you said... Well, I had my eyes closed. You never listen. Well, anyway, I'm suffering for it this morning. And so is he. Do you want an haircut while you waste? No, we've done that before and it didn't end well. So we've cleared that beautiful length of canal there where the people moored on the bend. One of them's actually almost under the bridge. And then we've got all this growth. We love this stretch. But we're not moaning. We don't. We never. We don't. We don't do. We don't moan. No moan. So we've just solved the problem of lunch, haven't we? Yeah. Just take a deep breath and I get midges. A quarter of a pound of uncooked midges. Yeah, I might put a, a, a face mask on and everyone think, oh, thank you. God, oh, he, he takes idea. COVID serious. It's like no. Oh, I've no got one. I might midges. Yeah. Well, that, well that, that's a good sign, isn't it, really? Although I do take it seriously. So there's a boat coming at us, so we're going. I know that boat. Yeah, it's um, Susan Boyles. That was a joke. So that's <laughs> called Wild Horses. I was just explaining. Anyway, this this is a wonderful day. We th we think that all the uh, Easter egg hunters are all buggered off home. Are that or they're all down at Cool Pilot? These clouds are magnificent. Look, look. Can you can you see? Can can, can you see the cloud? Look. Simpsons clouds, wonderful. Oh, Tom, Tom's um, trying to brainwash me this morning. What's what's that tune you keep whistling? What? What's that tune you keep whistling? I, can't, I don't know. You see, it's some terrible ITV program in the morning. I think it's called This Morning. Yeah, I've not watched. With Ollie and Phil, or no, that, I've not watched or that big. I've not watched it in 20 years. Well, stop whistling the tune. Nobody's watched it for 20 years. Yeah, but I was also whistling. Oh, I can't say what I was whistling. It's probably not PC anymore. Doesn't matter. Our cha we don't have to please anybody because we don't have adverts on our channel. So we can say what we want. As long as it's not copyrighted. Well, it was leaning on a, win on a corner of a... Yeah. That pervert song. Yeah. Yeah, I know. He'd, he'd be arrested now. <laughs> what's his, what's his what's his name? I can't. He, he had a banjolele. Now we know it wasn't a ukulele because we looked oh, him up the other day. It's a banjolele. Why is it a banjolele? George Formby. And if he was out today, he'd he'd be on some kind of a register, it's leaning right. leaning well, on lampposts and cleaning anyway. windows. I tell you. Hiya. Uh, thank you. We're going to have to paint this paint paintwork out. We're, we're going to have to get a roller, Tom, and a tin of yellow emulsion. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You've had enough of <laughs> surprise dogs, haven't you, after Bailey the other day? Anyway, George Formby, leaning on lampposts, that's called stalking. When you're cleaning windows, that's voyeurism. Next. Right, for the last time, I'm pressing the printer button. It works. We're confusing a lot of people, but the answer is a few videos earlier. 
So do I put them out of the misery and tell them why I call that a printer bottom or I tell, tell them to stop Just being tell so me lazy, again. Right, basically, lazy and go and Whenever you want to use your printer at home, it doesn't work because it's been there all year. Smiling at you, Yeah, I said. and then it doesn't work. And then it, it's a bit like the horn on the boat because we hadn't been out for months. You press the button, nothing happens. It's just Can like we change printer. its name? I've got a better name for it. Because what you're saying is it's useless and doesn't do anything. Why don't we just call it a civil servant? Joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Well, the thing is, it is working now. Yeah, so... And where's the big trumpet gone? I don't know, but it's probably working more than a civil servant. It, it is working now, but people take no notice of it. That's why we use it. And they still ignore it. They use that on the railway. Oh, don't put that up for Apparently, it's off, it says British Rail. It, it's what they warn workmen of oncoming trains. So, John, I don't know if you. What? Look at my coffee, isn't that weird? Yeah, it's the vibrations. I don't know if we mentioned that we're. we're HS2 is coming right past our house. So that's given me a good idea, you see, because they say we won't be inconvenienced by it. But I'm going to, when they start working, I'm going to follow some of the workmen home and stand outside their house at three o'clock in the morning with that trumpet and say, well, it won't affect you. I'll give that some thought. If we're never seen again, there's somebody in that field just been screaming, oi, dickhead. And I'm expecting them to turn up here with a machine gun. Is this how we die? I don't know if it was a cyclist on that road shouting at a motor. I've no, no, it I'm felt, no idea. It felt, it felt very personal. Hello, dickhead's here. Hello. Is that why they're not happy with us? Well, I can't see. I don't give a damn. We've only got 800 RPM on the clock on it. Eh? People were. That was a bit worrying. Maybe it was a talking frog. Well, it's got a loud voice. Anyway, I'll go back to sleep now. I know, I'll go back to soaking now. If I can synchronise this video with that video, you should have a lovely view of Cheshire and in the distance, Mount Cop Castle, which isn't a castle. Oh. We, we've got a race to a, a narrow bit. turn myself off this could get nasty we're just coming up to one of the many narrow sections and I've just really given it some because I'm, I'm racing about the other side to get to the narrow bit first the, only, the only thing is the boat that I'm racing is moored up you said you're racing we, we, we were buried in Tacova is that you racing I had a thousand rpm which is fast for me I'm still confused why we were called, do you know what? There was no one around. I know. Anyway, we beat that moored boat to this narrow bit. Am I doing your Whoa, side? Whoa, look at that fit. Am I doing your side? I don't know. What if you're to me? I wonder. As if I'm supposed to be helping it. I'm, I'm right, we're going through. We're going through the... I think it is a, it used to be a bridge. But I call all narrow sections of the canal used to be a bridges. In fact, there is the used to be a bridge. Unless it's just a decoy, because we are near the secret bunker. It might be a decoy. Used to be a bridge. I'm still expecting to be shot. Right, we beat that moored boat to the to the narrow bit. We're not far from the lock. We're not far from the lock. Well, that was fun. There's a GRP cruiser, it looks like it's been abandoned. Not on the lock landing, but if you were to go past it, you'd be on the bywash. And I've just missed Judge jumping off the boat and nearly broke my back. But it seems. I think, it, I think it's still in one piece. I'll just, have you got, have we got any Molotov cocktails ready? 
because this cruiser looks as though it's waiting for one looks like it's had one it just needs one to finish it off anyway I'm not moaning Oh, it is working. I don't know where it went. The power pack wasn't plugged in, so probably been talking gibberish to myself. Hack green lot number two. Pain in the arse, abandoned, crappy, shit a boat. But never mind. It's very quiet today. I have to say, it's very quiet. Cut. Ethel's just got off and done a wee wee. Uh, anyway, Atlean like Luke got number one coming up. There's nobody there, so fortunately I can just drift in this pound while himself does all the hard work. Yeah, I'll just hop it down here. I thought that was his boat. Yeah, I did at first. He's, he's gathering them all up, so they're opposite. I think Tom's been a bit over generous. There's a boat coming down. Where is it? The other side, the other bridge. So he's waiting for it. It's not Easter anymore, you don't have to pretend. Oh, wind's getting up now. I'm going to end up in the reeds. Tom's not very happy with this lock. That green number one. And, and apparently there's a couple of targets in front. I mean paddle boards. Going through the bridge. Oh, I'd love to meet him there. So we've arrived at Cool Pilot. Yeah. Uh, we've got to put up with the shooting range in the distance, but this no, is. It's only same at, at we have it at home. What are you on about? <laughs> uh, I'll turn the tally up louder. But anyway, there's yeah, so close there's narrowboat potteries. That's uh, oh, oh, inside my nose. Look. There's narrowboat potteries, and look what's hiding behind. As I was trying to say. Look what's hiding behind Narrabo's potteries. I, I have no idea what I'm looking at because I can't see. I can't see the screen. Can't hold it steady. But you're going to have to take my word for it. It's nice. It's nice here. Ethel thinks so because she says the grass here tastes wonderful. So we'll see you in the morning with a sick bucket. <laughs>